LGBT Palestinian beheaded after escaping the West Bank. Uh, Ahmad Hacham Hamadi Abu uh, Marghia, a Palestinian gay man who escaped from the West Bank after being outed as gay, moved into an Israeli safe house in the greater Tel Aviv area. He was in the process of getting asylum in a third country, as even Israel isn't safe for most for many gay Palestinians. On October 5th, 25-year-old Marhia was kidnapped and murdered. His beheaded and dismembered body was seen in horrific videos circulating in Palestinian territories in Jordan. A different house, the safe house where Ahmad took asylum, caters to the Palestinian and Arab-Israeli gay community. Rita uh, Petrinko, the CEO of the safe house who secured Ahmad's permit to live in Israel, said Ahmad was an industrious, intelligent man looking forward to leaving the country. His friends report that they are certain that he was murdered because of his sexuality. Armin, wow. what is your initial reaction? How did they manage to get him in Israel? Was he at the safe house when they got him? I'm not exactly sure where he was when he was kidnapped, but he was kidnapped. In my understanding, he was brought... They found his body in Hebron, I think. Wait, oh my God. That's insane. Yeah. I don't know, I think people really underestimate like how severe a lot of these attitudes towards the gay community specifically gay men and how bad it can really like, get by israeli muslims probably right who killed him yeah no Wait, the 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 running theory that i understand from the reports that i read was that he was likely kidnapped by palestinians how in israel palestinians can't get into israel i mean can they I don't, no. in terms of like who did this it's conflicting stories but it was more well, like in terms of motivation it would be presumably okay there's a weird thing in israel where some israeli citizens who are arab and muslim who are israeli citizen they refer to themselves as palestinian even though they're not palestinian so i don't know if yes. they say so i don't know if they if when they say palestinian here are they just talking about people who happen to be muslim in israel or are they talking about actual Palestinians? Because that's unclear. Yeah. Okay. Because if it if this is happening by Israeli Muslims, right? Th imagine what the attitudes are like. I mean, if this can happen to you in Israel, imagine what what could happen to you in Palestine. Do you know if he was from Gaza Strip or the West Bank? From the West Bank. West Bank. Imagine what how things are in Gaza Strip if this happened to you. Okay, so the tears are of radicalism is like of Muslims is Israel is the lowest, and then the West Bank is in the middle, and Gaza Strip is like cuckoo land. Right? I mean, this is not just me who says this. This is people in the West Bank says it. Say, I've been to the West Bank. Okay, I've been to Palestine. Right, and the people in palestine west bank palestine consider the people in gaza strip to be cuckoo like radicals right and this guy came from the west bank imagine imagine what it's like to be gay in the gaza strip anyways this is crazy by the way this is also shows that not all you know we we blame a lot of the radicalism in these areas to poverty and mistreatment and isolation and economic blockade and all that and all of that has its effect but those things don't make you homophobic okay those things make you maybe radically anti-semitic right but given that it's happening to you by a jewish state so you could blame a lot of that radicalism on the on the fact that there's an apartheid and these you know and the treatment and the conditions but no amount of, like people don't just go out and become homophobic because jews are oppressing them it's just it just doesn't it, it just does, it doesn't follow right 
So given, to me, it shows that, at least it suggests that a lot of the radicalism, as much as you could blame it on the condition, a lot of it is because of Islam, okay? Like, Islam makes you homophobic. Being economic blockades and apartheid doesn't make you homophobic. Last time I checked, other people didn't become more homophobic in South Africa because of apartheid, right? So it's a lot of it is just Islam. That's a good point. But this story actually made me very curious about these safe houses that they have, like all across Israel for not only Palestinians, but they also have them for Arab Israelis as well. Um, So I thought that's an amazing project. And yeah, they get a lot more support. Was he in the safe house when he was kidnapped? Because that's the failure of a safe house. No, he was on his way to work. Okay. As D reminded me in the live chat. Thank you, D. Yeah, what a beautiful project by whoever has like Israelis who are building a safe house for LGBT gay, you know, LGBT Palestinians. That's a beautiful. That's a message of peace, like right there. That's I don't know, that's beautiful. I, I'm so sad that it failed here, but I hope like it shows that they need more resources. What's mm-hmm. the organization's name? Do we know? Um they have a name in Arabic that I cannot pronounce, but the translation is um a different house. Hmm. Look, so this guy is saying yesterday a Palestinian man, Ahmed Abu Marhia. Marhia was brutally murdered by Palestinians because he was gay. While the media, American politicians, and human rights groups ignored it, a small vigil was held for um, him. Han? Him. Oh, him. Him last night by those who knew him in Israel. He deserves better. Oh, look, it's in Hebrew. Too. Oh, the vigil is in Hebrew too. Yeah, there wouldn't be any vigil in Arabic by Palestinians for him. I don't think. Mm-hmm. It, the, the vigil has to be but in Hebrew. What do you think about Betrayed by him his basically own saying that like left-leaning people in the U.S. would ignore this kind of thing because it's politically inconvenient to <clears throat> their alignment in sentiments towards the Palestinian cause. Like they turn a blind eye to the cruelty when it comes to this. I don't know if that's the reason. I think you, we wouldn't know. But do you think that's a pattern that you observe? Or do you think that's not a thing? I need more data points to be able to see the see a pattern. I haven't, mm. you know, I haven't, I'm dealing with what one data point. So I need to see more mm-hmm. to be able to guess that. I mean, in your... In your I mean, have, experience of analyzing these things over the years. I mean, over the years, this is the first time I'm learning about a Palestinian gay person who died in Israel by other Palestinians. So, no, I mean, oh. like, because personally, as yeah. someone who used to be like a militant leftist, everything was like centrally one sided when it comes to Palestine. And there was like, I don't even think people know how badly LGBT people are persecuted there. Like, it's never even discussed. It's never thought about. Like, I don't think people... Yeah, but you would have to talk about whether the U.S. talks has... To be able to analyze this, does the U.S. talks about how um, LGBT people are treated in Kenya? Why Kenya? I, exactly, right? Because no. <laughs> so they, okay, so like, if you say like in Kenya, for example, LGBT or Uganda, LGBT people don't have it any. Uh, you know, they're not treated very well in Uganda, right? People do talk so, about Uganda. Yeah, but you're talking about politicians. Ah, uh, politicians, no. Okay, so if you saw like they talk about other places. And they don't talk about Palestine. They were like, okay, something fish is going on here. I'm just saying that's why you need more data points, right? So, yeah, mm-hmm. they don't talk about it that much, but maybe they don't talk about it in other places either. So, mm-hmm. 
I yeah. just have to, there's so many external factors that you have to control for to be able to analyze something like this. Yeah. 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 You know, and I do understand that, like, my own experience is definitely, like, severely anecdotal. And so I, like, do keep that in mind. Um, I've just been feeling so, like, angry and disappointed at so many left-leaning people recently. Mm. I think in, because of a lot of the stuff I've been seeing in relation to Iran, it's, like, making me a little black-pilled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm just an average liberalism enjoyer, and I have to see all this bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually pretty optimistic. I think you're looking at a lot of progressives. I like look at people like, I don't know, Vosh, for example, right, which is one of the leading content creators on the left, and he calls out these things, you know. Like, he's, he's he just had videos calling out you know, he, when he says, when he says, uh, he no, he notes that he notices that in the black community in the United States there's more homophobia, and he says that other leftist people shy away from something like that, but yeah. he says it. So I I see that as signs of encouragement, like as not as a way to be racist. Obviously, he 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 thinks the um, reason is socioeconomic factors, but at least he acknowledges that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just think like, you know what? You're looking at like left, leftist, leftist, like woke leftist. Okay. And I just think like, not even, not no. even, no. Yeah. I don't know. I've, Although I've seen, I actually, okay, I'm, I'm just saying things, too spicy. I got to stop. <laughs> I just think like things have gotten a lot better for the left in, in the past since like 9-11. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like things are getting a lot more rational. Yeah. In my opinion. If Relative that's our standard, before. damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love this comment by Adam. One more push for Susie into full on Shiism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's already there. You have no idea. Susie has some hot takes. I have I some hot even... takes that I've sent Armin recently. Yeah. yeah, I need yeah. to I need to have a rant about my feelings about the state of progressivism in America soon. Cause we're losing Susie, guys. Like she's getting I'm red pill. <laughs> <laughs> she's like getting full of she's on the red pill bandwagon right now. I mean, <laughs> I need, we need to save her. She's becoming a men's right activist. <laughs> she's 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 get, she's getting close to becoming a men's right activist. <laughs> Can I tell them Yo. about the stats that you noticed about in Iran about the victims? You were upset about the, some of the reporting. I am upset about that. Yeah, I don't even think to yeah. just shrug it off and saying that I'm an MRA because of that. I think is unfair. Mm. But I know. But the fact that you note, I didn't notice that. The fact okay, that you basically what that. Armin is referring to is I got upset over the fact that out of the 23 children that have been killed in the protests in Iran. Everyone knows the names, if you follow it closely, of the three girls who were killed, who were under the age of 20. Mm. But the vast majority of them are boys. 20 right. of them out of 23 are boys. And no one knows, knows their, their name. names. Yeah. You don't, no one remembers their name. They just, when the girls are shot dead or killed, People know their names and remember them. They investigate the circumstances extremely closely. There's hashtags everywhere. People know their faces. Yeah. That's not, the, um, that's not true for the majority of the people who are killed, including the youngest victim who was 11 years old. Hmm. Like, that bothers but me. It, but it's only... Well, it's natural, though, to be like that. To be bothered by that? No, no, no. To be more sympathetic to girls being the victim but does our brains might have been designed that way your 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 voice might have been designed to be more um like i don't know how to say it there's a reason why women sound the way they do mm -hmm. okay it, it maybe naturally we're designed to be more protective over women than we are over men 
Maybe. Yes. No, there's a lot of biological utility to that. Okay. So then why are you blaming society for just giving into its biological, you know, desires? Like, I mean, this is just natural for us to feel more sympathy towards men being abused and women being abused than men. It's, our, it's, our, it's just part of nature. We can't help it. I hate that argument. That's not true. You just said it is. You just said it. You just, no, yeah. It, it, just, just because it's natural doesn't mean that it's right. That doesn't mean that it's okay. By I know, but you, I'm not, I'm not like saying such it's a okay. fallacy. There are so many things about our behaviors that are natural that are completely immoral. Behaviors that you completely condemn and you get frustrated when people say oh well you know just because you're an atheist like why aren't you going and r wording all these women like that's natural blah 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 like what okay i'm not saying it's okay just because it's natural okay but it's understandable because it's natural one right it also might be somewhat okay not just because it's natural but because um it, the reason why nature makes us more sympathetic towards women is maybe because they need more protection historically. Yes, well, and also our reproductive capacity is more valuable and scarce. Exactly. Exactly. Biologically, women are more valuable than men. Yes. Biologically, right? So it makes sense that the entire tribe tries to defend its more valuable asset. Yeah. yeah. That's Wait, so how am I driving? That's so dehumanizing, how am I saying? though. That's so dehumanizing in many ways. Wait, what am I saying that is cancel-worthy? This is, like, pretty... Me saying, like, biologically women are more valuable than men is, like, cancel-worthy? That's, that's I a thought fact. It was... Yeah. That's like literally a resource in, a resource in nature is the ability to carry a child. It's more scarce. It's more valuable. Yeah. Okay. Even if it's not okay, even if it's not okay because it's natural, because that would be the appeal to nature fallacy. I'm just saying it would make us less angry knowing that people are biased that way. You know what I mean? Like it would be more give it would be more understandable. And if it's more understandable, we would get less angry about it. You seem like you're fr you're angry. You seem like no. I'm just cry. upset. It's because I have a big heart, you know. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see the picture of that little boy who was only 11, and I'm like, why don't we know his name? Why don't people talk about him? I think it's unfair. He's a person too. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't make. I didn't mean to make you upset. It's okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Let me see. You guys are crucifying me in the live chat. Maybe I shouldn't share my views. Oh, Susie. She's crying in the background. Okay, let me read this. Harsha is saying, instead of saying that our brain is created that way, maybe we should say our brain is evolved that way. Yeah, that's what we mean. Like it's just it's just metaphoric. Remember when in Africa, the where's our like where's our girls? When, um, what was it? Boko Haram kidnapped a whole bunch of girls, right? So, a lot of there was this global attention about all these girls that went missing, right? However, nobody was asking about what happened to the boys because when Boko Haram went to all these schools. They kidnapped the girls, but but 
what people were missing and people were like, oh, the girls, the girls, the girl. But, but the part of the story that everyone was missing is that the girls were kidnapped and the boys were killed. Right. And that, that for a very long time, that never got any attention until somebody came and compared the attention that they got. That the fact that the boys were murdered didn't get any coverage, that much atten global attention. But the fact that the girls were kidnapped got a lot of coverage. So people are like, it just seemed like the boys were just not that important. Yeah. Anyways, oh yeah, bring back our girls. That was the that was the campaign. Oh yeah, bring back our girls. So thanks. Sorry, sorry. I, I forgot what the hashtag was. Okay. Sorry, Susie. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, okay. Uh, young AC saying, Susie, please don't cry. We all are sad about those people who killed her. And yeah, no, no, no man also gets very, oh my God, no man is saying, Armin, stop making her cry. <laughs> what did I do? Oh my God. All right. No, anyway. Armin didn't make me cry. It's more like, yeah. I just get really frustrated when like the people who actually like do care are demonized and denigrated as if they're shitting on women. It's such a okay. disservice to everyone. It makes me so angry. I'm getting at least one positive comment here because they've been like, I thought, yeah, AJ is saying, yeah, now nah, Armin, <laughs> never stop giving your views, right or wrong. We shouldn't be in an echo chamber and it leads to open discussion. Okay. But I'm afraid because I make I might make Susie cry again. Are you? Yeah, I'm sorry, Susie. Are no, you, you didn't okay? make me cry. I just, it's my own like heart. I just I physically feel it. I don't know how to describe it. I think so. So is angry with me too. What the hell? Okay. All right. Can we? Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait. This... Let's read this one to give context. Last I'm saying, last night I watched a video of a three to four year old girl who was calling his dead father by moving his pick on the grave. Father got killed in protest. That really broke me. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of videos like that coming out right now. There's a lot of fathers too. It's not just yeah. Everybody. It's everybody. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says, get our free blasphemous art.